moments called conversation with the CEO. It's another edition of conversation with the CEO. You know, I'm always excited about it. If you notice, we're not on Zoom today. <laughs> I'm always excited about not being on Zoom in person. That's where we are. Now, before we get started, you know what we're about with Lynchpin Bunch Inc. It's always about growth. We're always trying to teach people something that can help them prosper. It's all about that education. We, we, we do know that if you keep learning something, you keep growing. And that's what we want to make sure we happen. Make sure you share this. Make sure you like it. Make sure you uh, tell people about it because we're always interviewing very, very interesting people. Uh, and particularly, they, they own their own companies. They run their own businesses. And there's a lot to learn in that. Today, we're going to be talking to a young lady who is uh, very well known in Sarasota, um, especially in the business scene. Let me just put it to you like this. I met her at a meetup. You need to go to meetups because this is the kind of thing that happens when you go there. Um, her name is Mimi. She owns a company called Intuitive Art by Mimi. And let's just welcome her because she, she has a great heart and she's always bubbly. And I, I, I just love that. How you doing, Mimi? I'm doing so good. I'm doing so good. Ah, I'm so sorry about that. I'm, sorry. I'm doing so good. Thank you so much for having me. And thank you for having us. I yeah. feel like I'm in a, like an art museum all of a sudden and working on projects. And so you, you're bringing out that part of me that's like getting creative. Let's get that creativity out. Absolutely. This is my studio. So welcome. Thank you for coming to my home. Welcome to my studio. And uh, yeah, this is my space where all that beautiful creative energy comes out. Now, I want to talk about when we first met. Yeah. I was at a meetup and you came to me and uh, yes. you just kind of started talking. And you said, hey, uh, you know, you kind of picked up on who I was. You yeah. kind of called me out. Yeah, absolutely. So I've always been intuitive. Mm -hmm. um, that's something that I've sort of grown up with. It's sort of like this um, gift that I was born with, if you okay. will. Hey, yo, something's going on over at our website. You want to go check it out. I promise you. Head to the linchpinbunchinc.com. We're doing something extra special. Uh, what we're excited to offer you is called the Everybody vs. Wall Street Package. Yes, it's going to have a, a, a new version of our audio book. It's also going to have a couple of videos. It's going to have information that we haven't shared, stuff that's important to investing that you're going to really, really appreciate. Here's what's cool about it. You get to pick your own price. You get to tell us what you want to pay for it, okay? Whatever you give us, we're going to give you access to it, all right? That's what we want to do. We want to sow into your life. We want to change your life. We want to make a difference here, okay? So we're excited. You're ready to start trading. You're ready to start investing. You're ready to start growing. So go ahead and take advantage of that right now. Pick your own price. And as I got older, um, I really try to hone in on those gifts. And how that's coming through right now is that I'm able to pick up on energies of someone. I do have to meet them first. Okay, okay. Right? So that I can kind of have that energy uh, channel into them. And then once I do that, I'm able to um, pick up on their chakras. So, okay. right, we all have seven chakras. I don't okay. know if any, anybody's familiar with that. Yes. Um, and I'm able to get those colors and then I get a like a like a, a vision, a sort of like, like a art project sort of. And then I'm able to put that on canvas. Okay. And then I give it to that person. And then that piece of art hopefully will be in their uh, workspace, in their home space, wherever. And that is emanating those sort of healing vibes that that mm -hmm. person needs. So it's really custom. So, so, so yeah. you basically do yeah. art that, that has purpose for them. So it's Absolutely. like it, it, it's it's kind of like a, 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 a portion of who I am. Or if like, yes. so if you did something for me, yes, it's a portion of who I am. It is a portion of who you are. It is completely customized to you. Nobody else has that painting. And it's doing those colors that are on that portrait or in on that canvas are actually helping you sort of align and balance. Really? While you're not even aware of it. So you're painting me into success. Basically. Oh, I love that. Right? I love that. You know, because I'm always thinking, you know, when you're watching people on Zoom now. Yeah. A lot of people have like a picture in the background. So yeah. My thing is if I could have have my own energy up in the background with, with something that's... Like think about what that's emanating, right? Yeah, like yeah. behind you, sort of like that. And speaking of people without me having to talk, that's, that's the part I really like. That's right. There you go. Now, what, what would... Like, so yeah. when you're doing this, what types of... What types of things are people... Like what types of energy are most people... Or, they, or what would you say? Like, let's look at this. I'm yeah. going to look at this right Yeah, here. yeah, yeah. What, what does this mean? So I don't actually remember what that piece is called in particular, um, but I remember doing that with my niece okay. and we were, we did a reel with that. That was actually one of my very first reels that I did on Instagram. So wow. it was just a whole bunch of like fun energy 
And that's kind of what came out of that that evening. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's really like energy on canvas, okay. right? It's sort of the expression of our creativity in that moment on uh, canvas. So now if I was to channel before, like if I was to like tune into my niece or myself or anybody else, I would have maybe gotten different colors. I would have gotten a different look for that. So it okay. so that was just This is of, unique to whoever this is unique. It. exactly. If you like it that's awesome. That sort of represents the night that we were we were doing that art on. Mm -hmm. Um but if I was to get like a customized art um order from somebody like through my website, then I would be able to like tune in to them okay. and I would get a specific vision for let you. Let me ask let me ask you this. Then. Yeah. Would you if I did it twice? Yeah. Would the pictures be similar? Very very good question. It depends if you changed if you did something drastic in your life in between those two paintings, right? So it's almost like getting like a, like a tarot card reading, right? Or or so, or something along those lines. It's a snapshot of your energy field in that moment. Okay. So okay. now let's say I I I so right, I did something for you today and then let's say something something happened, something that drastically changed your ener energy field. I would pick up on that. Okay. And it would be a different painting. But if everything stayed the same and everything was kind of stable, it it would pretty much be the same. You know, let me just Colors, be, let, me, let me be honest with you. Yeah. Whatever you're doing, that's a great gift to have. Yeah. I couldn't carry that burden of feeling what people got going on. Oh. I I would feel like, oh my God. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? So talk to us about yeah. that. Like no like literally meeting someone and kind of knowing yeah. what's going on with that's, them. That's a great question. Right. So part of these gifts is also um, protecting yourself. So every time I leave the house, right. So I'm very sensitive, right. I'm very, I, I can pick up what, so I'm like a sponge. I'm an empath. So I'm able to okay. feel people's emotions and their energy. So it's really difficult for me to be in the world. So how I do that is I protect myself. So I'm very spiritual. I'm, I'm protected by my angels, God, and, and all the, the beautiful light that's around me. It's protecting me from all those sort of like negative things. Yeah. Um, so I, it, it is a conscious thing and I do have to do it all the time. And um, so when, let's say I tune into you, I did a protection prayer, if you will. I yeah. didn't talk about prayer, but I wanted to talk yeah. about prayer because that really protects me from any sort of like negative influences that might try to come in to yeah. alter your message or who's ever message. When, when did like you turned this into a business? I did. Right. When did you think to yourself, I could actually do a business painting art of people's no. energy? Yeah, nope. That that was never. It's not like I was born like I'm gonna do this. Like it was. I can't explain to you. Like talk it, to me. I want to know yeah, the story. So Let's go. I know, I know, I know. So when I was little, I grew up in the former Czechoslovakia, um, yeah. sort of very um, um, a suppressed regime. You know, everybody was suppressed. So I, you know, I felt those energies, and I immediately knew that I was that I I, I knew sort of higher things that like other people weren't talking about things that sort of maybe you weren't talking about, but I just knew them. Um, okay. and then, um, you know, I, I kind of suppress those cause I'm like, well, what am I doing with this? I, I grew up in Washington DC. I had a corporate career. Okay. So those gifts weren't really going to any use. Um, and then I moved to Florida cause my parents retired. Um, and I just wanted to be near them. And really this is, I got away from the rat race. Okay. So I was able to quiet my mind and really sort of get back into those intuitive gifts that I was born with. Wow. And I just started painting. Cause I'm like, I'm in Florida, you know, like might as well start painting. And then it was like a, it was like a guidance process. Honestly, I don't, I, I really, it wasn't like a set out goal that I had. Yeah. It's just something that came to me through my dreams and through, um, God, my angels, like yeah. just that energy that's trying to come through, right? That's awesome. And so I, I figured, I'm like, wait a minute. So I'm able to pick up on somebody's energy. And then I also want, I'm also able to put it on a canvas. Like, yeah. whoa, that's, that's so interesting, right? Yeah. I, I don't, I, and so I just started doing it and people, I mean, I've just been. Let, let me ask you this, knowing your energy and then putting it on, on, on a canvas like that. Does it help guide you even in your own personal turmoils? Because mm -hmm. as a business owner, let's yeah. just be real about yeah. it. You know, the, yeah. the, the pandemic hit the hit the yeah. businesses took a hit. They did. We're, we're not making as much money as we used to. Right. And we we haven't. You know, so that can be stressful sometimes. It is stressful, but I have to kind of. Um, so the pandemic really sort of helped me really get into this. Um, honestly, if it wasn't for some divine sort of moments and. Um, events in my life that occurred, I would have never started doing this. So I wow. really have to kind of um, give credit to that divine energy that's yeah. that is with everyone. This I'm not just like some special person that like I only have these gifts and like everybody has this. You just have to sort of um, center yourself and quiet your mind to mm -hmm. find 
what that path is for for you. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, if I'm lost, if yeah. I, if I'm lost, yeah. and, and 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 I'm trying to grow, I'm, I want to be better. Yeah. All right. What's some things that I could do that'll help me to help me get closer to where I want to be? Absolutely. Um, so definitely, me- I would say meditation. Okay. Find a quiet space in your home. If you're children, if you you know significant other, find that place um, in a time of day that you're able to really convene and and commune with your higher self, with God, whatever you want to call it. Um, and that's where you get you you listen because so many times we're always like in prayer mode, like I want this and oh, I wish this would happen, but we never really listen. And so yeah. finding that time and that space is so important because there's so many things that are coming to us we just yeah. don't ever quiet the mind to listen wow so that's what i do do you do you like get like something special like like say you you're in a business right yeah and you, you meet the business owner yeah do you end up leaving and go i gotta paint something on him i felt it well, I definitely get an impression for sure. I've okay. definitely walked out of like job interviews, you know, in Washington D.C., where I'm like, "Ooh, I can't, I can't ever work here." <laughs> I mean, okay. like, oh. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, but again, I only started work, started um, painting in, in Sarasota. So, but I no, I've never actually had that unless somebody gives me permission to do so. So that's another thing. Um, I always ask permission of that okay. person. To so get you into won't, their so energy, you won't just you know? paint something and bring it to them and say, "Guess what?" Here's no. Some- Okay. No, okay. It's a permission thing. It's a permission thing. Yeah. And I would assume people would pick it up anyway. Like, like if they meet you and they'd be like, "Hey, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying, you know, the energy. Or right. Something about, you know, you say that thing. It's something about you. Right. Absolutely. I, for some reason, I, I'm interested. Reason. Like, yes. tell me more. <laughs> yeah, right. For sure. Yeah. Because we're not yeah. always open to everybody, right? I agree. But I was very open to you when I met you at the meetup. Yeah. Um, and there was your energy was super like open and just loving and just like your heart space was just like whoo. You know what I mean? And so, oh, you just see, don't don't make me tear up. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm, you know, my main thing is I'm I'm on a mission. The mission, yeah. it's a big one. Yeah, you know, it, yeah. You, you, you got to touch it and teach and educate mm-hmm. as many people as you can. Yeah. My goal is to, at the end of the day, keep you inspired, inspire you to inspire other people. Like I hope when somebody watches this, yeah. that something happens within them and they go, you know what? I can do it. Yeah. I can yes. move forward. Yes. Here's the answers. Here's the answers. Absolutely. Yeah. And this is the time to really create. So if there's somebody like for me, like I was stuck in that corporate world and hating my life, you know, really kind of, cause there was like this voice, this something that just wanted to be birthed. Yeah. And, and finally I was able to do that. Honestly, through the pandemic, it allowed everybody, I believe to push pause on, on all the sort of obstacles that prevented them from, being who they are, I think it's really helped people kind of propel to that next level, and that's what helped me. That's, and so then I just started to I turn this into a, a business. You know, I was like, this is what I want to do. This is my authentic self. That's great. You know, I think sometimes that's the hardest thing in the world to be is yourself. Yeah. Yes. You're so yes. busy being everybody else is right. Right. And, and it's hard because I know that the topics that I'm talking about are really sort of like woo woo, and they're sort of out there. I get it. Look, I come from a very traditional family, very conservative. Um, so I know that this is sort of out there for some people to kind of grasp these concepts. Yeah. But this is who I am. And it's sort of like stepping into that. And once you step into that, like the universe and God, and like like you are just like kind of lifted up and supported. So if I can encourage anyone, like if you, if you feel like you need to be doing something else, yeah. like do it. Even if it's on the weekends, do it because it is literally helping you. And it's helping others too. You know what I mean? Yeah. What about people that they keep saying, I don't have time? All right. There's this thing, yeah. you know, it's tugging at them and they go, I hear you. But I, 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 I want to do that, but it's, it's just not time yet. I know. How, what do you say to them? I mean, honestly, sometimes it is divine timing. So sometimes it, it will take time for that person to really flourish. For me, it took that pandemic. Honestly, it took, it, it really took that pause in that corporate world for mm-hmm. me too. So that was my story. Yeah. Um, and I believe that was divine timing. So um, just keep at it and really, again, center. And w- what is that message for you? Is it time to quit that day job? Yeah. Maybe not. Maybe yeah. do it uh, like an hour in a week. What if I fail? Yeah. What if I fail? What if I get out here and that's I do okay. this and I don't make it? That's okay. Look, I'm worried about that, right? That's, yes, yes. What do you yes. say to that person? I, I deal with that 
every single day I deal with that every single day. Like, well, oh my God, what am I doing? How's this going to work? Like, oh, do I, do I have enough people? Um, you just got to believe in that. You, honestly, I'm not even doing this. This is like, it's kind of like, let me be that vessel and let me, this isn't even me, whatever, whatever the outcome is. I know it's, um, I'm just a channel. I'm just the vessel for it. So I know some, like, so once you release the outcome, once you, um, like detach yourself from the outcome, beautiful things happen. So that's the key in this too. You can't, yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to say this, like in my opinion, yeah. if I'm lost and on the fence and, and I'm just in that space of confusion, yeah. you know, someone like you would seem like be perfect person to come and meet. Absolutely. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh my God. Yes. I want to inspire people. I really do. I really do. I, I hope that I'm that sort of catalyst for people to live their best life. Yeah. Because I, you know, I, I'm living, my, this is amazing. This, I'm living my dream. I live in beautiful Sarasota. Come on. I live in come beautiful on. Sarasota. Come I'm meeting on, amazing now. people. Like, this is like, come I'm on. doing what I love. And I want to like, whew, I want to give that to somebody else. And I do it through um, each painting or just meeting someone, like whatever that is. I just want to like inspire people. You love people. You can see it. I mean, I'm trying to save the world. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's helping. I, I love it. I love it. Yeah. Oh my God. Don't make me cry. Stop it. Stop <laughs> it. I'm not going to cry today. make me tear up out here. Not yeah, today. I, my heart, I feel you. I, yeah, I, I, you feel that because you yeah. heart, your heart center. Right. right now. When it comes to, when it, when it, when it comes to, hold that. Oh. Hold that. I, just, I feel what you, what you're trying to do. I get it. And it's beautiful. You know what I mean? I'm, these are tears that I'm I'm, in, I'm inspired by. You. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't mean I, I'm not sad. I want, I want to be clear on this. Yeah. And what I mean is, it's nice to know that somebody's out there wanting you to make it. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You hear this term all the time. One of the terms you always hear is, you know, people say there's haters out there. There's yeah. all these yeah. haters, and sometimes people hear so many people tell them they can't make it. Don't yeah. try that. Oh, yeah. Don't do that. You, 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 you're going to embarrass yourself. And people start listening to that. And you almost wonder sometimes, where are the people who are going to tell me, make it, get there, yes. go. Yes. yes. Like, don't you quit. I know, I know you want to. And I, and just knowing someone like you exists, because that's what I feel. I feel like you're one of those private angels in the corner saying, you know, Hey, don't you dare. Don't like, you keep, going. keep going. You, you know what I mean? Keep going. Because there's so I, I run into business owners and entrepreneurs and people that want to do stuff and they, they they're always feeling like man I, you know I get discouraged yeah yeah and, you know I wish there was somebody who come and hug mm -hmm. me and say you're gonna be all right mm -hmm. you know what I mean yes. but just I know that's what you do I know that's what you represent so it it, it just kind of touched me you know what I mean <laughs> I'm so ashamed. <laughs> No shame. No shame. This I'm is beautiful. I didn't want to tear up like no, that. no shame. There's no shame in this studio. Uh uh. Mm -mm. Well, okay. Let's go. Let's get to this. Yes, let's yes, get to yes, this yes. picture. Is, you, is it, it dry? It. I don't you, know if it is. You painted something yes, for me. I did. And you and you used yes. my energy to come up with I did. it. So okay, I, I want to. Um, can I touch it? You can. I don't know if it's dry okay, yet. Okay. I know all this all is right, like this right, is I'm like gonna, real. I'm gonna. I'm gonna oh, oh. Get it on the tip. Yeah, so let's I don't... do it. Let's do it. Oh, it is still dry. I mean, it is still wet. It's all still right, wet. It's still right. wet. We got it. We okay, got it. Yep. Second. Okay, perfect. Right, okay, careful. Oh, I don't. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's not dry. It's My not bad. Dry. My bad. It's not dry. Okay. okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's okay. just move it right back to the center. Okay, okay, okay. Let's, okay. So let, like let's just do it like where he can just do okay. it like a. Okay, he'll just look over. Yeah. You'll get the pop. Okay, so. You'll get it. All right, so tell me, tell me what, what, uh, the colors you used and what everything means so i i don't know if you're comfortable i mean it's it's a little bit personal so i don't know if you want to i mean yeah that's fine. is that okay do, do okay are we good? Are we good? okay so what i picked up on you so i was able to kind of get in your energy by the way i got permission yeah. from from your energy field to, to go in so okay. i always ask permission i never oh. go in when i'm not supposed to um and so what i got was so your your um your throat chakra right okay was a little bit so I know that you're a communicator and I know that you're you do interviews, but there's something that you're not 
communicating and it's coming from so your sacral chakra which is sort of that creativity mm -hmm. that sort of desire that pleasure there's something that you're not that you want to communicate but that you're not communicating okay now that could be to your most personal relationships okay. that could be in the world okay maybe you really are meant to do you are meant to do um sort of these sort of interviews where you're really sort of getting in touch with people's emotions and feelings and this sort of higher energy because I feel that painting will help you communicate that which you really, really need to communicate okay. in the world. All right. So whatever that is for you. Okay. Right? It's maybe yeah. something that not, that you're not used to communicating. Okay. Because I know that you're an interviewer, but there's something that you're not speaking that you need to be. Oh, you know, my, my team calls me out on that. So I, <gasps> that sounds, you, you, that's not what you would say, Antonio. Oh. Let's, let's, let's re-record. Oh. Say it the way you would say it. So yes. I, I, I feel that. Okay. Sometimes I'm, I'm, a very, hold, I'm, a, I'm a very polite person. And you hold back. Sometimes I, I don't want to say I know. what I need to I say. Know. I that, that's right. true. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. It's, I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. I don't either. I, yeah. I get that. And that's why I'm also trying not to, you know, this is yeah. kind of, you know, it's a little bit sensitive, yeah. it's a little personal. But yeah, right? you're, you're absolutely correct. I will find a better way to say it. <laughs> right. But there's something in that truth yeah. that although you're trying to prevent maybe hurting people's feelings, but you're mm. actually stopping them from growing. Okay. Gotcha. So that's kind of. You know, you well, I mean, it makes sense. I'm thinking you know? about the day we were in the park recording. <laughs> I just, it's still, you remember that day? <laughs> oh, shit. Caleb shaking his head. Okay. We was, in the, we was in the park recording. That's kind of basically what he, what he told me. He's like, I don't like what, I don't like that because that's yeah. not what Antonio said. <laughs> Did that help? Yeah, it kind of, it kind of sound like. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I think I was so, I was just trying to say that I didn't want to offend anybody. Yeah. You know, we were talking about. Yeah, uh, I hear you. We were talking about. African American type stuff, okay. black business yeah. owners, and I didn't want that to, I didn't want anybody to take that as if I'm yeah. saying only black businesses is what I care about because right. I don't. I care right. about all businesses. Right, right. But I, but that particular day, yeah. you get what I'm saying? So, so right. So that's exactly what I picked up on. Okay, you you hit it. I'm telling you. So maybe there's like a fine line. Maybe there's something that there's like a beautiful balance in that. Yeah. Right. Where you yeah. can still authentically speak about what you need to speak about. Yeah without hurting people's feelings. I think when yeah. you come from a place of heart centered, yeah. it won't come off as, as whatever you think it's going to come off as. Yeah. Okay. So that's what I got for you. Be that creative. So again, that, that creative um, energy is trying to come through. So basically yeah. when you're painting people, yeah. you, this is what you give them to? You give them this kind of guidance? Yes. So, okay. So I also do readings. So not, so people can choose. So if you go to my website, intuitive, Mimi, hold on, intuitiveartbymimi.com. I got okay. a little nervous. All um, right. We're going to put that down in the description. So we're going to put that no down in the description. There. Right. So they can also do, not only do you get the painting, but you also get a 30 minute reading with me. Oh. So we can really go into it. Okay. Right. So it's not just, here's your painting. And then it's like a five minute, this is what I got for you. It's really like a deep dive into what I got for you. Okay. So they get a 30 minute reading with me. All right. All right, now, let's finish. Come on, I want to. I want to. Let's walk through this. You, you got me now. Let's let's get into it. Okay. All right. I've, you've got me crying. <laughs> I got you me, crying. I'm crying. Me, so <laughs> hey, you know that. That's what I like about this. I get yeah. a chance to really meet real people and yeah. learn from them. I'm here to learn. I'm here to grow. Go ahead. Yeah. No, absolutely. I I think you're you're really feeling that uh, the energy. I think you're really feeling what this is about. Oh yeah. This is about. This is about that energy. This is about that love energy. And if anything gets, if anyone gets anything from this interview about me, is that I, now you're gonna make me cry. I wanna be that joy and that light in this world that everybody is missing right now, right? I mean, this world is kinda, it's, yeah. it's crazy right now, yeah. right? And I wanna be that source of inspiration for people. Whatever yeah. you're trying to do, if you're trying to have a family, if you're trying to grow a business, Whatever that is, yeah. I want people to go to my Instagram. I want them to go to my website and I want them to feel that all is well in this world and the light, pro the light will win. Yeah. Okay. Like, okay. It's all yeah. going to be okay. It's going to work out. It's going to work out. It's going to work out. It yeah. might be a bumpy ride and I'm here to kind of help people through that bumpy ride. Yeah. I, I was, I, I, I literally, I, I, I do a, a like a, a, what I call a, like a morning show in the clubhouse yeah. uh, with a guy named Terry. And, uh, <laughs> you were to my sensitives. Gosh. Okay. The the point I was we were ha we were having a discussion, and 
because you're really hitting an important something important to me. I think mental health is a big yes. deal in the yes. world, and I think people blow it over. They do. I think there's a lot of people having mental health issues, yes. and they're scared to talk yeah, about it. I agree. I agree. And it's like they just bottle it up yes. and they hide it, yes. and they got so much mental health going on. Yes. And they just need to like go sit down and talk to somebody, and somebody guide them through that. Yeah. And, and like what you're doing to me, that that's that's a portion of that, yeah, right? It is sitting down with someone like yourself and loving on them and yeah. just remind them, like, okay, get that out. Like, let's talk about that, let's right? Talk about that. That's important to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I see it all the time. Yeah. I see people try to pretend to be, uh, pretend they're okay and they when they're not okay. I see the same thing. I see you know the same I mean? thing. That's why you make me you making me tearing up because I'm thinking of people I love. And it's a big deal. It's a, these are hard times, and people don't know how to cope. Yeah. And so, look, I I help them through my art. But if they want to do, if I inspire yeah. people to do art as art therapy, okay, maybe that's sort of like the next ch chapter for me. Maybe I'm supposed to be an art therapy person. I don't I, know. I, listen, I, I I literally it feels like that. It feels like in my mind, I'm like. Somebody that just you should contact you, get the painting done, and just to have a conversation about the painting. Yeah. It's almost like the painting led to the conversation, yes. right? Yes, yes. And it's like Yes. If it taps into if it mm -hmm. taps into mm -hmm. yeah. and gives me a chance to yes. you know what I mean? Yes. I don't ever talk about that. But I I, I think about that a lot. I know you do. I know you do. And I so, see people hurt. Me too. But I want to encourage me too. Me you know what I mean? Dude, okay. I do, I do. This is too much. No. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is what it's too much. Guys, but this is what this energy is about. So when I tuned into you earlier this afternoon, mm -hmm. that's what God want, that's what this that's what needed to be said right now. Do you see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's helping you be a better person through that message that I got for you in that painting. Now you're feeling it and now you're going to do something different. Maybe you're going to help with this interview, with that painting, with this realization, whatever yeah. you just received from the message that I got earlier. Yeah. It's helping you sort of formulate those next steps. Yeah. I, I, I literally, I want, listen, if you're watching, you know, if you're watching this, I'm, I'm just saying like what I, what I really want to say is she's telling me I don't say it. Let me just say it. If you got a burden and you, you've been saying it to yourself and you, you know you need to do it, you know you need to go and talk to somebody, you're holding it in, you're carrying too much, go get some help. Don't be afraid. Nothing's wrong with you. Mental health doesn't mean you're crazy, but you will go crazy if you don't go get some help. Start somewhere where it comes off fun like this and then it gets serious like what we're doing. This was fun. And then it got to this and I'm, I'm actually talking to you. And I'm just trying to encourage you. You don't have to carry that weight. You don't have to pretend anymore. It'll change your life. Open doors for you. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. You know, my best friend, my best friend in the former Czechoslovakia, she, um, she also struggled with mental health and she, she committed suicide um, yeah. 10 years ago. And so, She's also kind of speaking through me, um, and that's really what this is about. Yeah. Like, if not now, when? Yeah. You know, people need an outlet, whether that's through art or through whatever that is, through working out, through, I don't know, talking yeah. to someone, they need an outlet. And yeah. this is my contribution to helping society. Oh, I, listen, I'm clapping for you. I, <laughs> I can't get through this interview because it's just too much, but... Let me let me just let me just say this. It's appreciated. Uh, I'm inspired through through all of this because it, it means something. You know what I mean? It really, really means something. And 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 uh, I'm a happy person. Yeah. Life is great for me. Yeah. And I just want people to I know. to be happy. Right? I, know. I know. And you see the you know I talk to some of my friends. They're always complaining. There's always something wrong. And, you know, I'm like, wow. Know. You know, I want you to live to get to live this life where I live. Right. I'm so at peace with myself. Right. I'm so at peace. I know. But it takes people like you and I that have reached that level yeah. of peace, you know, yeah. um, so that we can. So that's our sort of mission now. Yeah. Is to be that peace for others and yeah. to be that safe 
space and that platform for others. Yeah. And that's what you're doing. Hopefully that's what I'm doing. <sighs> me, me. <laughs> y'all make sure y'all yeah, get you one of these paintings. Get you, get you one of these, please. <laughs> Uh, you might be crying like me, and listen, I'm, I feel so ashamed. You're crying no like shame, am, but, no shame in but this studio. Let me, let me just say that, that this was awesome. I, I really enjoyed it, and uh, it, close this out with some with something that you want people to get from you who might be watching yeah. and, and thinking like, I want to attack the world. I want to leave an impact in the world. I want to change things. I want yeah. to be better where I want better tomorrow than I am today. Yeah. I mean, just do it. Again, if not now, when? I mean, this is the time. I mean, look around you. I mean, the world is crumbling before us. I mean, there's so much negativity, but it's like, if you have the chance to be that positive um, beacon, please do it. And, and God and the universe will support you. That's what I learned. Even though you don't know the how and the exact steps, like I didn't know that I was going to, I didn't know I was going to be doing this. Yeah. It's literally like a, like a, it's a channeled um, path and you got to have faith, have faith that if you have a voice or that inkling within you to do something great, you will be supported. I promise you. I promise you. That's this episode of Conversation with the CEO. Go down in the description, get that information. I'm going to close by saying what I always say. Hey, learn, keep learning, because when you stop learning, you stop growing. When you stop growing, you die.